See me? You follow me around? What's cracking everybody, it's Ralph here and today we're talking about the pan tilt head from Telesen and the thing is amazing, this is it. You're watching, what happens is you mount a phone or a GoPro on top of this and it has an automatic, what they call a humanoid tracker, which means that wherever you walk, the humanoid gets tracked. I guess that makes me the humanoid. And so, you can do all sorts of creative, cool things with this, and we're giving it a build today. First of all, you have to stand within one meter, or, let's not walk through a tree, eight meters away. Now, maybe this is eight meters, and let's see if it still tracks me. As I walk around like this, is it still tracking me? It is. What about if I hide behind a tree? Oh, that's impressive, is it not? So, providing you have a camera that's 500 grams or less, you can put it on this and it should work without a problem. It takes two hours to fully charge, but you get five hours usage out of it. How good's that? <laughs> it's pretty easy to operate. There's a single button on the back. You hold that button down, it turns the tracker on. The tracker is live and good to go. If you want to turn the tracker off, you just hit that on and off button once. And once you turn the tracker off, it makes available the time-lapse mode, but the time-lapse mode only works with the remote control, which I left at home. Yeah, came out to shoot the video, left the remote control at home, had to go home, and get the remote control. Now just trying to find it in my pocket. Oh, it's in my bag, hang on. How tiny is this little critter? And look what it can do. If you hit the bottom button, it turns off the tracking, and that means I can walk like this. Nothing happens, you don't follow me. Press the button again and it retracts. Whew, fancy that. If you're liking this video so far, I would encourage you to subscribe. There's a whole heap of things about photography and videography on this channel that will help you, cause you to become more creative. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up. Like I'm out in the wind, I've got a sore shoulder because my fence fell down, I had to fix the fence the other day. Around, surrounded by savage dogs. It's kind of a dog park. So. Is that worth a like? I think it's worth a like. Hit the like button, and if you want to join the channel, you can do that down below by hitting that join button, and that will enable you to, well, join. If you take this little button, you hold it down, gradually, after a few seconds, the white light starts to flash. And once that's flashing, you're in time-lapse mode. And time-lapse mode moves it incrementally, and looks like this. This time lapse is taken right in the heart of Burley and is a 360 time lapse. You select which direction you go by pressing the left or right buttons on the remote control to set it up, and then it rotates a 0.8 degrees every three seconds. That means it takes six minutes to do 90 degrees, 12 minutes to do 180, and 24 minutes to do the full circle. Plus, you can also change direction halfway through by clicking the left or the right button, going the opposite way, and it will automatically shift direction. By clicking the button in the same direction, it'll jump forward about 10 degrees. the button it stops the time lag function and we go back to tracking and now if I turn off track with my little remote control I'll just take you with you come with me this is me going left oh gee it's a bit fast there we go that's me going right <laughs> how good's that 
<laughs> How good is that? You click this top button and look what happens. Goes around the world, ladies and gentlemen. It's my film crew. My film crew is at the moment twice as large as it usually is. <laughs> and if you press the bottom one, it goes back the other way. You get a full 360 pano. Boom. If you go halfway around the world and then you press the button, I wonder if it stops halfway. Oh, we can reverse it. Stop. Look at that. What am I doing? Let's go stop just here and turn the tracking back on. And now, are you impressed? Are you impressed? I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Teleson knocked it out of the park. This is such a cool product that you can have in your camera bag, you can have stashed in the car, that you can do some really creative things with. You can film yourself in all number of circumstances. You can chuck it on a time lapse and get that thing like ticking across. Um, and if you put a camera on it that's light enough with a good enough aperture, you could take some epic astro. I'm thinking maybe that's an idea for a future video. Okay, so let's, uh, I don't have a pet, but I do have a daughter and she likes to jet about. And so Zari, can you come in the shot please? And we're gonna see if the tracker can pick you up. You just move a bit closer. You gotta smile at the tracker, just make sure it's happy. I'm gonna try and move over here. No, I'm too big, come here. Stick your head up. All right, now jet around, come on. You gotta try and get it, trick it. No, still got ya. You gotta run a bit faster. Oh, that's nice, nice move, nice move. Okay, go back, hide behind a tree. Hide behind a tree. Jump behind another tree. Uh, it's, got your, it's got your number, it's got your number. So it picks up the largest mass that's closest to the sensor and it goes with that. So just keep that in mind. If there's two people, you take a step to your left, I'm gonna take a step to my right. Ready? One, two, three, go. No, you, your other left. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it doesn't know, keep it going. Nah, it's gone with me. Goes with the bigger, the bigger mass. The other interesting thing is as you move, it, is it moving smoothly enough for you? This is, I'll, I'll just walk slowly. Just take a little bit of an amble, a little bit of a stroll. When you put your phone or your GoPro on, you have to line up the front lens with the sensor. The sensor's pretty obvious. And if you line them up, then what you get from the sensor, you get from your camera. But make sure you look at your camera, not at the sensor, as I've been doing for some of this video. And it's quite intoxicating, that little blue light with a white light happening there. And you're like, drawn in? Yeah, don't do that. So this is $41.99 from Teleson. They sent it to me. They said, have a play, have a go, see if you like it. And if you love it uh, please give us a review um, and I do love it they, they actually would have been cool if like I didn't like it and they'd be like just tell us the truth about it they're a great company to work with so thank you Teleson for sending this and if you want your own you can get one for $41.99 with a link in the description below and use the code down there for 10% off. If you'd like to join the channel, I'd love to see you there. I'd love to be a part of there. And if you want to subscribe, that would mean the world to me. Give me the thumbs up. See you in the next video. Bye. Can't read this. And what that says? Indicator light. Is that it? Yeah. Turn What's the middle button do? That middle button. So I think it's stop rotation or turn off timer. No, 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 it's, it's all good, we filmed it. On this front camera, assuming the front camera's on. Is it on? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait. It's recording? No. It's not? Yeah. Oh, it's not. Okay, we're gonna do the whole thing again. <laughs>